which Maura Stewart appeals on behalf of the victims of Hurricane Gilbert in the Caribbean region. The eye of Hurricane Gilbert on its way to wreak havoc throughout the Caribbean region. The world is full of natural disasters which seem to occur with an awful regularity. The scale of each disaster may seem different, but for all of those involved, the effect is the same, devastating. But the need to help is no less. Hurricane Gilbert has cut a swing through the whole of the Caribbean region, but Jamaica, Haiti and Mexico have been particularly hard hit. In Jamaica, one-fifth of the population has been made homeless. That's half a million people. And as always, it's the poor who suffer most. They lack shelter, clean water and food. Banana, coffee and food crops have been destroyed, causing severe damage to the economy of the island. It ended up in Mexico, crossing the coast and eventually reaching Monterey, where even now the full extent of death, destruction and suffering has yet to be revealed. Hundreds have been killed. The relief agencies of the Disasters Emergency Committee, that's the British Red Cross Society, CAFOD, Christian Aid, Help the Aged, Oxfam, Save the Children and War on Want, are working together in the region to bring relief and help directly to those in need. Hurricane Gilbert was seen to be coming with an awesome inevitability. Tracking it and predicting its course was in the hands of meteorologists the world over. With me now is Ian McCaskill. Ian, just how predictable was the hurricane and how did it compare with ours last October? We're getting better all the time. Right now we're keeping a close eye on Helen, daughter of Gilbert, but still well out in the Atlantic. We started watching Gilbert on Friday the 9th near the Windward Islands. By Tuesday, it had crossed Jamaica as the most intense hurricane in the century. On Wednesday, it devastated the, Can the Cayman Islands. On Thursday, the Yucatan Peninsula, and then across the ocean to strike the Mexican border there. How did it compare with our little breeze last October? Winds then reached 112 miles per hour. Gilbert blew more than 200 miles per hour. Twice as strong, twice as damaging. One of my saddest jobs on night shift on the 13th was to tell members of the Jamaican community that Gilbert had indeed struck. Split the island like a parting, an inhabitant said next day. Just because we can predict these things doesn't make them any less destructive. Thank you, Ian. Well, Hurricane Gilbert has now blown itself out, leaving in its past devastation, which, as in all of these disasters, has hit most at those with the least means to survive them. With this latest disaster coming so soon after the others, the charity's emergency funds are at breaking point. Hopefully, you can help, yet again, to alleviate the immediate suffering and provide for the longer-term rehabilitation that will be necessary. Money is desperately needed. You can help now by calling at any high street bank or post office and making a contribution over the counter. Or you can phone one of the following numbers with a credit card donation. These numbers will be open for tonight only. In the south, 01, if you're outside London, 580 In the Midlands, the North and Wales, the code is 0536 400230 or 400240, or 400250. And in Northern Ireland and Scotland, the code is 0698-356-356. But this number is open for the next eight days. That's up to and including Friday the 30th of September. It's 01, if you're outside London, 205-7077. 205-7077. Or you can send a cheque or postal order to me at the following address. Moira Stewart, The Hurricane Appeal, P.O. Box 4000, London EC4R1ET. That's Moira Stewart, The Hurricane Appeal, P.O. Box 4000, London EC4R1ET. All the telephone numbers and the address...